everyone. Okay, so this video may actually be um, a two-part video depending on how long it takes me to um, show you everything. But this is a cran apple pie with cinnamon roll crust. And um, what you're going to do, I have kind of a mess here. Let me move everything. This recipe could actually make two pies. Um, depending on how much, how big your pie pan is, this is a nine inch uh, ceramic pie pan. And what you're gonna do is, I don't, I always spray stuff with cooking spray. So I'm gonna come over here and spray my pie pan. And just kind of make it because it won't stick because. This is your pie crust, some minerals, and um, what you're going to do, I can get that off of there, I really hate this pop, uh, okay, I'm going to have to make it pop myself, ah, okay, so pop it open, and you want you need your cinnamon rolls and I really hate being wasteful when it comes to um, like buying something and then using parts of it so you will have a spot for the icing I promise Ugh, I know there's some recipes out there for this pie that um, you don't you don't use the frosting so then you're going to take your cinnamon rolls and just line them up in the bottom of your pan. Just make sure that they're all fit. And then you're going to smash them together. You can use two cans of cinnamon rolls if you don't want any spaces in your pie crust. But to me, it really doesn't bother me because um, this it's kind of like an apple crisp, this thing that I'm making. Um, and you can see I'm just smushing down um, my cinnamon rolls. And I'm sorry if I'm yelling, but I have my air conditioner on. And the past few videos I filmed that my air conditioner was on, it's, it's, you couldn't really hear me. So just kind of work this down. Make it to where it's a nice, even, nice, even layer. Okay. And this is a very sweet um, pie. It's um, I I like to make this at Thanksgiving, and this recipe I got it because I I tweaked someone else's recipe. Remember that frosting I said you're gonna use? And this is kind of messy because I'm using my fingers. And you're just going to take this and rub this frosting on the bottom. This is going to kind of make it like a glue. And yes, you're going to get messy. Trust me. This would actually kind of be a fun thing to do with the kiddos. Because it's messy and it's uh, just kind of really easy to do. And I, I mean, if you're a perfectionist and you want to cover each cinnamon roll, go for it. I really don't care if all the cinnamon rolls are covered. Like I said, I just, uh, I don't like wasting things. So, it really annoys me when you buy something because you need their product, but then you can't use their, you know, if it comes with something. Now, ramen noodles, I'll make an exception because you don't need to eat that. <laughs> You don't need to be eating that, um, that, uh, seasoning. Alright, I'm going to go rinse my hands off. I'll be right back. And sorry guys, remember, I still haven't figured, figured out how to edit stuff out of videos, so you're just going to have to... Bear with me on that. Okay, so I said this is crane apple. You're gonna use 
Um, honey. What kind of? Honey crisp apples. You can use pretty much whatever apple you want to. Um, Red Delicious, though, they're not very sweet. So I wouldn't suggest um, using Red Delicious. And I don't have my chopping knife. This is just some little non chopping knife that makes it really difficult to cut. So, okay. This, this needs to go. So, this is what your pie crust looks like. And then you're just going to come over here and chop up your apples. And just throw them on top of here. Kind of do um, small pieces just because um, granted they will get soft but still um, you don't really want huge chunks of apple when you go to eat this. And then as I'm adding my apple I'll add in the cranberries. And you can also, I have the other, because I got two things of cinnamon rolls, because I'm going to make another pie. But with that one, I'm going to use uh, cranberry and peaches. So, that one will be pretty tasty. And then you're just chopping up your apples. How's my time? Six minutes. Okay. And then add some more cranberries in. Uh oh. And just kind of spread them evenly out over your cinnamon rolls. And you want to add, it'll look like you're adding a lot, but remember you have a full can of cinnamon rolls in this pie. So you're going to need something to kind of balance out that um, sweetness of all the cinnamon, of all the uh, cinnamon rolls. So, and this, in my opinion, is a very Thanksgiving-y uh, recipe, if that's even a word. I'm not going to cut my apples the traditional way because this knife I'm using is horrible. I'm going to add in more apples. And you can add nuts to this too. Um, I was going to get some pecans, but... I um, completely forgot when I was at Target to grab pecans, so didn't even think about it. Add in some more cranberries and just keep spreading it out. And guys, this pie is very good. This is also probably one of the easiest pies I've made in quite a while. Okay. So, this is what you have. Uh, that's not going to work. Okay, uh. hey, you see that? There. Alright. So now. Now what you're going to do is I take some local honey. This honey is from Dakota, Texas. And I don't know where that is, so it's obviously not too local for me. And you're going to do a layer of honey over the top. Now, you don't have to do the honey if you don't want to. I just find this helps. Um, this kind of helps bring the natural flavors out from the the fruit and then um, this is salted butter I meant to grab unsalted butter but they'll both do, they'll both um, do what you need them to do stick of butter cut off about two tablespoons and what you're gonna do Once you get this paper off, you're just going to slice up this butter, 
try and get it as thin as you can. And you're just going to lay the butter on top of the pie. I need a little bit more. To go in the middle. And I know you're thinking, golly, she used a whole can of cinnamon rolls and then the frosting and then honey. And yeah, this is a very um, sweet dish. It also um, is a very good um, alternative to pumpkin pie or pecan pie or whatever else um, you might have on Thanksgiving. So now that you've done that, you're just going to sprinkle some cinnamon over the top. Okay. Sorry, I'm licking my fingers. I know I shouldn't be doing that. And then what you're going to do is, now this is probably really going to throw you for a whirl. And, but this is only my second time making this, so I try and follow the recipes when I haven't been too familiar with it. You're going to take about a handful of brown sugar and just drizzle the brown sugar over the top. Butter, brown sugar, cinnamon. We had green apples. We could be making a Cracker Barrels green app, uh, Cracker Barrels fried apples, which I have a coffee cat recipe that doesn't require frying the apples. Okay, so now this is what it looks like. Ah, okay. Wow. Why can you not see that? Let's go up. Okay. So that's what it looks like so far. And remember, guys, I'm on an iPhone camera. Okay. There you go. <laughs> All right. So now that you've done this, um, if you feel like there's not enough apples, you can add apples. Um, I just covered the cinnamon rolls because um, these fruits, their sugars are going to come out of them and make kind of like a pie filling. And it'll get really, it'll fill up. Plus, you're going to have the cinnamon rolls come up. They're going to kind of come up on the sides. And this is just a really great recipe to have. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. I don't know how to edit videos. So once I get this out of the oven, I'll do a follow-up video and show you what it looks like. All right.